the whole board is just buttery buttery smooth hey what is up guys it's josh here today i wanted to do a review on my backfire g3 now i actually picked up the backfire g2t right when this whole pandemic thing came out one of the reasons i got the board is because i like to review stuff i wanted to put a nice video out on youtube maybe jump into the e-skating realm things like that but right when i bought the g2t it became discontinued i was like okay i'm reviewing a discontinued board recently my g2t finally kicked out on me put the board through a lot of stuff and by the end i really didn't maintain almost anything on it i didn't double check things i didn't grease up the parts that you're supposed to grease up or any of that stuff and the backfire g2t kicked out about a thousand miles which is pretty good considering that i rode it under like all conditions i rode it in the sand at the beach not in the sand but um there was so much sand around the beach that it was getting in the wheels i ride it for work and they put these sprinklers so i'm riding through water things like that so i'm going to really take care of this board hopefully i can get it more than a thousand miles but i really like the thousand miles of the g2t g2t was my, my first board ever and i absolutely loved it everybody who stepped on the g2t just loved it too was so sold on it i had a buddy of mine who wanted to create his own e-skate and was actually like making fun of me like oh you just want to pay a lot of money for a crappy product and then even he was saying no nah, like i don't i'm only gonna buy this stuff because this board just does everything you want it to do let's jump over to the g3 which i think is actually better in every single way and the g2t i only had them in the front this kind has both of the really really good trucks in the front and the back and it just provides an, an amazing 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 carving experience even my buddy you know who's used to the mini meepo he hopped on this board and he's like wow you can really carve with it it really just gives you almost like a three 3D um, way of carving. I just absolutely love the two caliber two trucks and I really think that that's going to set it apart from other e-skates as well just because of how good these trucks feel. The board is bigger, longer, and wider. I actually think it might be a little bit taller. I had to get used to this at first because I'm used to how long my wheels are and how, how the turning and the carving feels based on how long the wheels are. It took me a second to get used to it but overall I gotta say that I do like it and when you get into great situations where you're going high speed and you're carving and maybe you slip the extra length and the width is just gonna be more stable and it's gonna really provide you what you want in those crazy situations where you are going fast and you are carving and say you hit a rock it just feels more stable and and bigger i was also looking at it and i'm like well this doesn't look like a big board it doesn't look like oversized it kind of feels a little bulky and big but like i said you could carve so easy with it it really just doesn't look as big as it is it looks like a normal board which is what i want i don't want this huge gigantic board the lights on the side are a nice plus they're kind of like a little flex some people are, the new thing is to put lights on the board it's kind of nice that these are put in there and you can also turn them off to save battery too sometimes you want to look a little better sometimes you're going and in the dark so it's kind of nice for let other people know where you are and maybe even see a little bit of the surrounding areas with the light i do like that option it is a premium option i could do without it but i do like it this board is very very smooth like i was saying before i don't know if it's just those caliber two trucks or everything else but the whole board is just buttery buttery smooth i really really enjoy it by far the smoothest board that i've ever ridden i think this is going to be a standard on all boards to come backfire had their strong longest setting their fastest setting um, was technically turbo mode and in the g2t uh, you only had 30 seconds of turbo mode which would cause a lot of problems i would basically not even use it and on top of that the turbo mode wouldn't work once you were below three bars so it was like half the time it wouldn't work and then when you put it on the 30 seconds like if you forgot that you had the turbo mode on or you're, you're flooring it with turbo when it goes out of turbo mode it'll jolt the board so it was really kind of like i wouldn't get messed with the turbo now it's a full turbo and i absolutely love it it's kind of leave it on turbo most of the time just because of the acceleration and the uphill that's really where you need it i use my my e-skate at work and it's very 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 crowded so sometimes i'm waiting for a car to go and then they'll let me pass and the extra acceleration really really is nice also going uphill my buddy has the mini meepo too it's really really strong and i think i was able to go faster than an uphill with this board although his board is a little bit older that constant turbo absolutely love it so this board is 100 balanced i know it's kind of a weird thing to say but with my backfire g2t 
one of the sides was much looser than the other side, so one side was more tight with the turns, and the other side was more loose. So let's say if I switch from goofy to regular or vice versa, one side is just gonna be a little loose. This was the G2T. My G3 is 100% balanced, so I just wanted to put that out there. The G2T, although it had that slant, I loved it still, and I had no problems with it. I'm just saying that the G3 is 100% balanced, like I want it to be. So this board is supposed to be kind of like a flexi deck. And when you see it online, people jumping on it, it seems really, really flexy. However, it's really, really stable. I do weigh like 195 pounds, so I'm a little heavy. But this one really felt stable. It really doesn't feel springy. Maybe if you get into a situation where you're pushing it really hard, it will give a little bit, but it doesn't really feel like that it feels very very stable almost more stable than my g2t which is a stiff style deck and apparently the g3 plus is going to be stiff too but this one is supposed to be more flexy i just find that the flexiness helps to absorb kind of chatter i don't really feel like it's making me lose any stability i've only really tried meepo boards and backfire boards but i really enjoy the ease into acceleration that you get with a backfire my friend's meepo it's very like as soon as you push the power up it just takes off as soon as you put the brake it just breaks you know it's very blunt and very quick i could get around with it it's not the worst thing but i really do enjoy the premium feel of being able to ease into acceleration and then ease into brake it just is a much more smooth and predictable experience i enjoy it i like the new charging port and usb the way they put the charging port in this one is much more it's a, just much better on um, the g2t charging port was like on the very bottom of the board so you'd have to like plug it in and then the cord would be basically like running up against the ground now the charging port is like si it's like sideways it's not like under the board so you could like set the board up like normal and just plug it on the side. Basically the charging is a lot better. The turning on of the button, the button's a lot smaller, which is nice because I just feel like you're gonna have less issues with it, less it's gonna get scratched less. Overall, just a, a really good redesign of absolutely everything that they possibly could with this board. I know this is kind of expensive. If you're into e-skating, I would get this one or the G3 Plus. But if you're somebody who's just getting into it, I right now they got the G2s and they updated the G2s so that they're just a little bit better than they were before. I think they have some of the um, new features of the G3 and the new G2. So if you're looking for a budget board, 100% would recommend the G2. Fantastic. I basically had the G2T. Some things were better on it some things were worse on it compared to the new g2 i 100 percent i'm loving the g3 so far i think i'm on like maybe 50 miles or something so far but i've ridden a thousand miles on the other one and i could tell really quick right away pretty much all i would need to know about this one so maybe i'll do a review around 500 miles or a thousand miles but anyways guys that's been my review of the g3 highly recommend it so so nice hopefully by the next time this one kicks out backfire will have a better board or will update it that would be great but anyways guys let me know what eSkate you're writing down below let me know what videos i should do next one the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do that any of you guys help i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you on the next video peace <laughs>